This video shows a dive of the Blue ROV at Site 020A in Dana Point, California at a depth of 34 meters. This location was chosen based on side scan sonar data identifying a possible feature of interest in the area. An anchor and buoy were lowered at a precise GPS location to provide a guide down to the target. Visibility was poor, making it difficult to find the target at the bottom even with a good GPS location. This video includes clips from a 55 minute dive, with footage from both the onboard analog video feed as well as an attached GoPro camera. The first portion of the dive was spent scanning back and forth in each direction from the anchor buoy, trying to find the target location. Along the way we ran into some sparse wildlife, including sea stars and small crabs. In this next clip you see the first object that we ran into. We're not exactly sure what it is, but it appears that it might be a bone fragment. Chasing this small crab made for an excellent test of the vehicle's mobility and stability. We eventually found the target site and a large object. It appears to be a capsized powerboat. You can see the straight lines are the strakes on the bottom of the fiberglass hull. This boat's clearly been here for a while as it's overgrown and covered in sediment. As we come around to the back of the boat, you can see the flat transom on the right side and the engine mounting location. The engine and possibly the rudder are not very identifiable anymore, but there are clearly mechanical parts here. Coming back around to the back of the boat, we ran into a huge sheep crab climbing over the motor mount. This crab's probably almost as big as the ROV and clearly was not scared of it. According to information from the Monterey Bay Aquarium, Sheep crabs like this can be found from Northern California all the way down to Baja, California. They're the largest member of the California spider crab family. Using the ROV's thrusters, we were able to clear some of the sediment off of the hull of the boat. Here you can see the white fiberglass becoming exposed.
In the process of clearing sediment from the hole, we ran into this plastic label, which has a word or number starting with DF and then either the number 5 or an S. As far as we know, this wreck isn't on any marine charts. We might be the first ones looking at it since it sank. There are tens, if not hundreds, of similarly interesting sites in Southern California. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website at www.bluerobotics.com for more information on the Blue ROV and our other products.